Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Create Above and Beyond. <laughs> Glad you could join us today. Uh, if you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you're notified when the next video comes out. Also, uh, do not forget to hit that like button. Uh, we're trying to get at least five likes per video. So if you hit that button, that really helps out the channel a lot. Um, I do appreciate all the um, comments that you leave about anything that we're doing here in this mod pack. So uh, feel free to put a comment down below. Um, I, just, just out of curiosity, you don't have to do this or not, but <clears throat> if you wanna put down, um, I'm kind of curious what country you guys are coming from. Uh, is it all coming from the U.S.? Is it all coming from, you know, other places in the world? Uh, so maybe just uh, just put your country of origin, where you guys are from, um, uh, down in the comments below. Just kind of interested to to see where, how far these videos go. So, um, but okay, guys, uh, to this episode, oh, um, <clears throat> we are going to be working on trying to convert our... Um, our regents into usable uh, silicon. And to do that, we have to use a laser, um, which I had set up here and I was trying to do it stationary. I couldn't get it to work. I still couldn't get it to work. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be building a little rail system and I'm hoping this will work. I, I have a couple things that we're gonna need. Um, oh, I have this magnet charm because I was thinking that maybe I can make one of these. Can I make one of these? Hey, I can make one. Sweet. Um, this is a charm, so I could technically activate it. I think it needs to be charged first, right? Yeah, it does need to be charged. Can I charge it in... Actually, that's a good question. Maybe I don't have the ability to charge one. Oh, probably in the charger. Okay, we'll put it away for right now. <clears throat> we'll know that we have it in there. Which will be good. Um... I also just let you guys know I've been messing around with the audio a little bit, so it's a little bit quieter than the, the previous episodes. Um, I just kind of toned it down a little bit. I noticed after I set my, my new computer up, um, the audio seemed to be a little bit different. I'm not sure if it's because of different drivers or, or what, but I um, just thought I'd throw that out there. Okay, so we're gonna need a detector plate, I believe. So let's get rid of that. I did build a couple of powered rails uh, or powered locking rails. Um, it looks like we need a, a stone pressure plate. Do we, can we make one of those? We can. And I think that should be it. We don't, uh, I'll grab two just in case. I don't think we're gonna need that many. Oops. Um, and then the other thing we're gonna need is an uh, uh, a loader. Sorry, not an unloader, a loader. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's go ahead and request, oh, silicon. Oh, we gotta put those in there first. Now we can request and we'll have a spot open. So I'm not 100% sure how this is gonna work. So please bear with me on this. We This, this might be something that I have to finish up after the episode. <laughs> uh, we'll find out. I did add some piping uh, over here and I put a seared tank, which was here at, at one point in time, just so we can keep this furnace rocking and rolling. And uh, we probably could have used one and then just used a filter, a smart uh, a smart pipe to filter out the items, but <clears throat> we're we're kind of keeping that automated, right? Wow, something definitely tripped off. Look at, look at these guys go. Flip, 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 flip. <laughs> Something was definitely backed up. Oh, I know it was backed up. We didn't have any um, we didn't have any iron going in there. So this is what we set up in the last episode. And I'm hoping we can figure out the rest of this in this episode. I'm, I'm really, really hoping because we're going to need to get this silicon regen. And we only can have, we can only hit the laser once per time on the regen. Because otherwise, it, it could fry it. <clears throat> um, what I learned. Uh, do I have my bed over here? I have my bed over here. Perfect. Uh, I just decided in the last episode, just set it over here, just leave it while I'm working here because we're, we're going to run into an issue. Now, um, running the issue of, of Nightfall all the time. Now, we're going to need to take the regents that are coming out of here, uh, and we're going to be needing to load them up into a cart system. Now, I think, I think what we're going to do... Oh, I, I really have no storage whatsoever. What can I... I put in here. Oh, we're done with those. So we're gonna need a loader, uh, not an unloader, a loader. So here's our loader. And what I'm thinking is we have some powered locking rails. So 
the powered locking rails were allowed to select. Now these are, I think these are specific in what direction they go. So we gotta be careful in the direction that we're running these. So if we wanna run this way, yeah, see the, see the arrow? It's gonna be pushing the cart this way, <clears throat> depending on how we have it set up. Now, my idea here is we're gonna have, we're gonna have a loader. The loader is gonna grab the regen place it in here or all the regens it doesn't matter then we're gonna have an unloader somewhere else and the unloader is going to be unloading the silicon after the fact and so my kind of my thinking is we do need it for the power so uh, and we do need to build one of those encapsulators or those extractors and I think I already have one over here so let me go grab that because we'll use that for the time being we'll need to probably build another one but this is what's going to extract, yeah, regen extractor. And we'll set that up next to all the other powered items. And after it's extracted, we're gonna need to do some more processing. So uh, we'll just pipe it out of here, which will be fine. So what is gonna happen is regen's gonna come out of this, go into here, and then once that is I don't know, we have so many items select, or how many we have uh, put in there. <clears throat> I'm not sure how the, exactly how this works. I don't know if we can specify how many. Consider only locked mine carts. Empty loader slot entirely. So, okay, well, we'll have to maybe figure something out on how, how we're gonna load that up and get this to work exactly the way we want it. Now, my idea is that we'll have the detector rail trigger our, our laser. So the laser is gonna be on all the time. I just want the laser on all the time. What activates it is going to be the, the arm coming in and hitting it. So we can have that set uh, just like we showed in the, the, the other episode, uh, the last episode, uh, by just having, you know, we'll, we'll have to pull power off of maybe this main line here. And maybe that's going to be the best part to place to have it. it. It does go a long ways. So that's, that's good to have. So we'll do something. This is actually probably way too big. You know what, I've got a, I think I have a really good idea. I think I have a really good idea, I think. Um, I think we're gonna, I, I know how to do this. Okay, we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna place our loader here. Um, okay. Or, or, I'm sorry, our unloader. And I think this track's gonna be fairly short. So I want the laser to go off like immediately after it comes out of the gate. So we're going to have a de detector rail and the detector rail is going to send a redstone signal to push the, the, uh, the ployer, which is going to go into the invar machine, right? So if we do something along the lines of, like this, and then we have the deployer set. Actually, I think this is too close. Something like this. Oops, with the, oh no, I was right. It was supposed to be right here. There we go. And then with a fist, perfect. That way, we might have to spin this though. Oops, I had it right there. There we go. And so we'll have it set up. We'll put a probably a speed controller on here so that we can get as quick as we uh, quick as speeds as possible. Then the this is going to be right here, I believe, and then the laser right here. So my idea is that the laser will always be on. This will be triggered by this plate here, and as soon as it relieves here, it's going to automatically just like fire it out, and uh, hopefully it'll only do it once. <clears throat> I'm not sure. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, we might have to play around with it 
uh, before we start putting anything in there. And then once it goes around, it come back here and then it'll unload and then go into our extractor. So that's kind of the idea. These are powered locking rails. So they should trigger, we should be able to trigger them to run at a certain um, at a certain bit here. So I think, I can't, can I put that there? Yeah. I don't want you connecting. I don't know why you connected there. Stop connecting. Weird. Why? Mm. <laughs> we have more. I wanted to get some more rails. Wasn't expecting. Uh, you know, actually, we might move this over one. Maybe we'll have it go the other direction here. Maybe that will work. Does that work? Here, let's try this. Minecart. Um, I guess we'll have it powered. Oh, that... Is it locked? Okay, maybe we need to move this. Let's destroy that. Let's put... Yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to move this over one. But let's just make sure this is all going to work. Now, I think that because it's powered... And this did work, didn't it? Yep. Kind of. Not, not so much. <laughs> um... Okay, since I don't have... Whoa. I lost my... I lost my cobblestone. All right, well... You know, if I break it over here, it's going to fall. Let's steal one from right here. All right, place that there. I'm just going to use this detector rail so we can get past this uh we are gonna need another rail so let me go grab some more rails <clears throat> and this i'm mm, gonna be moved over because it can hit a long ways and then it will uh, i'll make sure that i'm going to hit the cart and then this will go back around of course right here and go into the unloader and then the unload will go into there perfect i hope this will work i've never dealt with these i've never really dealt with any mine carts so I'm not familiar with any of the minecart features or minecart stuff. So I apologize if I'm uh, very ignorant when it comes to this stuff. <laughs> I'm probably way off. This is this is probably not going to work. But might as well try it. Perfect. So minecart, push it, it locks. Oh, is that triggering this now? That is triggering it. That might... Actually, this might work. <laughs> Just like this. This is perfect. Okay. Awesome. That This actually triggers this, and then it, like, locks it or something? Here, let's get rid of that and just put a regular cart... Regular one in there. Is that... Nope. Never mind. <laughs> It doesn't do anything. Okay, let's move this over. Let's stop this. Thank you. And then we'll move this over one. And I think this might actually go here instead. Oops. Because we want it going, going this way. The laser going down this way. So we'll put the laser there. Bada bing, bada boom. This down so it turns on. Put our deployer right here. Flip it around. There we go. Turn that to a fist. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep. Sleeping done. <laughs> okay. 
Let's go get ourselves a speed controller, because I don't think I have one. I, I do I don't have one. I know I don't have one. So I'm gonna go build a speed controller. And we're gonna have to test this out. I'm gonna have to probably get some more. What do I have for pipes? I don't see where are my pipes? I thought I had some. Do I have some down here? I only have four. So I'm gonna have to go make some more brass pipes. Oh, I have 16 here. Maybe that's that's that should be plenty, really. I think what we can do is bring them both together. They don't have to because we're just going to specify which one goes where, right? So we can have that's bugging me. There we go. So we'll have them pulling. So this will be this will be or uh this will be pulling these items and then this will be pulling from the extractor. So do we have a yeah, we have a retrieval. Place that down. We'll do a high retrieval. I think we'll probably do maybe high retrieval on both. Oh, it's already set up for the sulfuric. Okay, perfect. So, yep, it's going to go into here. Then when the cart goes over, it should pick them up. Now, I don't know if we need to trigger this somehow for it to go. So let me grab a hopper cart. Bind these two together. Oh, it was picking it up. Okay, so I'm going to have to trigger these on and off. Because right now... Yes. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> okay. I was kind of hoping that they would automatically trigger themselves on and off. Uh, unless there is a way... Output to comparator... Oh! Consider all... Output to redstone. There we go. And then... Activate output during... Uh, so only when the cart is full. Output cart contents? No. Okay, so we're going to have to figure something out. This is definitely transferring items. Um, but we're going to have to make sure that this also has our chaos crystal. So let me go ahead and stop this. Um, all right, so I guess I'm going to have this on me. I don't think I can put them in here, can I? Yes, I can. Uh, so the chaos crystal also, uh, not the silicon, that also, ha or the catalyst, I keep on saying crystal. Um, that also has to be in there as well. Now, right now we have a ton of them and it we should never back up there should always only be like maybe one going here at a time but we need to also make sure that the chaos catalyst runs through here so i'm not sure if we're going to have maybe there's a, a priority module that we can get and make sure that that is always in there Retrieval highest priority increases the uh, reception priority of adjacent inventories. Higher priority means items will prefer this inventory regardless of distance. Okay, so we'll need to make sure that that is automatically coming into here and then going into the cart. And then this is being triggered. So I got a few things I need to build. Let's go try this out. This might... Um, well, it's not going to be completely it. Low retrieval mode. The low retrieval is going to be into here. And that's the silicon regen. Perfect. So if I put silicon in here, are you going to pull? Yes. There we go. Perfect. 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 
Let me go build that, uh, the control, uh, speed controller. Uh, what else was I going to need? I, was, I need to build something else. Oh, that priority module. Priority module. Okay, so we can do that with the utility. And then, oh, I guess it's all the utility. Uh, we have a couple utilities. Highest priority. We have never built that before. And then we need a, I think, brass machine, right? One of those. Throw that in there for the speed controller. Perfect. Hopefully you have enough power that we can manage this. Okay, so if we do something... No, let's move it back a little bit here. Actually, it'd probably be best if we just do it right there. Okay, that's hooked up. Let's grab ourselves a... The big wheel. Now, we do want to control this one as well, because this is going to be probably firing all cylinders. We don't want that. We only want it from here. Do we have one of those transmitters? Because I think the transmitter is probably going to be the easiest way to transmitting our, instead of using these cables. We don't need the inverter, I don't believe. Um, 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 um. We do not. We need to go create a couple of those. So let me go create those real fast, and I will bring you back once I have it in, and we'll give it a test. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and test this out. I don't want to put everything inside of our minecart quite yet, <clears throat> just in case we destroy things. So uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure that there's nothing in here. Yeah, we're going to remove all this stuff. Uh, might as well just leave the chaos crystal in there because the chaos crystal can't destroy, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll place our minecart right here, and we'll give it a little push. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, I need to switch it. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Okay. Seems like we got everything working. The only thing is we need to speed this up. So that it's more instant when this, when this goes. All right. So we're going to go ahead and turn this off. I think that worked. But the only thing is it's not... Let's see here. It's not... Um, just because it's loaded, it's not activating. Activate auto output. Okay, there we go. So it triggers. It drops it out. And then activate output. Activate output when it's... Okay. Is that going to work? Activate output when cart is empty. Okay, so it's already empty. So it's not stopping here. It wanted to go. <laughs> um, I don't think the, the comparator is the right. I think it's supposed to be redstone. Something along that lines? Ah, oh, man. All right, it stopped. It wants to move. Oh, is this get? Oh, it just, I think it loaded one of those up. Okay, how do I trigger this then? Like, it wants to move. I can't move it. Is that like a lever or something like that? Can I make one? No, I can't make one. I do have a redstone link here, but I don't have... Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so I can turn this off manually. I thought, it, I thought there might have been one that went in there. 
I know I seen one go in there. Okay. Yeah, there's four in here now. Uh, we gotta put that priority thing in here as well. Priority. Um. Oh, I guess. I I was thinking you could control the priority of which one. I guess not. So I guess we don't want that. Okay, I don't know if... I'm guessing we're going to need to somehow control this. Uh, this output here. And I'm not sure exactly how to do that. Can we place that there? Yeah. So this could control this. We'd have another one here to control another one. Um, but it almost seems like we're gonna have to have some way of turning it on based off the contents of these items. Maybe we could have an observer and observe this area, maybe? What if I turned it off? Does it turn back on by itself? Okay, it's loaded, but why isn't it... See, it's not always p grabbing. And I don't think this is actually fast enough. This is definitely working. There we go. I don't want it going off twice, though. And that's what it seems like it's... I don't know why it keeps on going. It should be shutting off. It's not fast enough, maybe? 80, I don't think, was fast enough. Yeah, I don't think it's quick enough. We could... We could go ahead... And let's turn this off real quick. And then we'll grab the cart. Stop that right away. Uh, we could move this to over here and then that should probably trigger correctly then so let's go ahead and do that move this over here because it seems like it takes a second before it triggers which is fine we just gotta we just gotta get the timing correct and then i think we just do something like that right that should work now. But the only thing now is to make sure that the contents here. Now, is there a module maybe that tells uh, redstone signal? I don't probably it does. No, lowest priority redstone module allows disabling the pipe with the redstone signal works for both extraction and retrieval. It's not really exactly what we want. Hmm, so this is not going to be something that we're going to need, I don't think. We just need to make sure. How can we check the cart? I, to make sure the cart has the item. Or... Maybe I need to move the track over one. I'm um, thinking because, and the reason being is so that we can maybe compare, hmm, I'm going to have to think about this for a little bit, I think, I think, I think, I think, uh, let's go ahead and put these in here. Yeah, it's just not fast enough. Maybe if we put like a speed module in here. Okay, let's... That works. This works 100%. So we got the laser all figured out. We got sil two silicon. Now the question is... This actually might just work. <laughs> um, let's 
I think if we took the loader and the unloader when we just move this one ahead, I think this would actually work a lot better. So let's turn this off quickly. Yeah, this is definitely this is definitely working. Let's get a, get rid of this, 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 and that. And then we'll place the loader here. And then this needs that speed module because this is going to export. Uh, where is it at? Can we put these other ones in here? No, we can only have one speed. Put speed in there and maybe speed in here or speed in that one, maybe. Speed, 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 speed for everything. Throw that down. I think we're making progress here. I, I really do think this is gonna this is gonna work. Bingo, bingo, boom. Okay. We have the chaos catalyst in there. Let's grab this out here. Throw this in. That goes down. Unloads. Uh, does it need to be turned on? It gets picked up. Why is it getting dropped off like immediately? This is the unload. Oh, okay. So it's not quite fast enough. It's not quite fast enough. Oh, maybe this is maybe this is a solution. Yeah, let's put a whole stack in there. It only grabs a little bit. Hey. Let's turn the light on. There's one. Ouch. There's two. There goes another one. Didn't get the catalyst that time. Okay, it's not, definitely not getting the catalyst. Uh, empty loader slots entirely. Hmm. This, this might actually be working now. Um, I, I think. I'm not 100% sure. It might be a little too clumsy, but I think as long as we're getting, like if we throw one in here, Okay, it didn't have one. And it is emptying the sulfur. Like right now there's something weird going on. So what if we say just like leave one slot? Cause that will keep the catalyst in there at all times. And if we throw in some here, they're gonna automatically need to pick it up, and then it's gonna. Oh, I should, <laughs> I should get out of there! <laughs> oh my goodness! Ouch! Uh, we didn't lose much. We didn't lose much of uh, in terms of experience, but <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that is that is great. Let's put those back. All right. Can I chop your body up? This is dangerous over here. Okay, so this works. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of our dead body. I think we have some more that I can throw in here. Yeah, let's just get, get rid of them. Move out of the way. So that should load up completely. Uh, why are you not dinging? Can we look inside here? Oh, we have silicon. Why? Oh, that's not going to work. 
Okay, so we can't leave one item. We have to empty everything. And it would be nice if we could pause this for a second. Could we, could we, could we, could we? Let's do like this. I did it again. Like this. So like before, it turned off this for a second. There we go. Which I think gives it enough time to pick up the chaos. No, it still doesn't. Hmm. Okay, so what would be the best solution here? I mean, it picks it up sometimes, but then, like, right there, it didn't pick it up. Output to comparator. Active output during active output when cart is full. It's definitely not going to be full. And then cart output container. But that's only going to be if there's like something in there, right? So if I like put stuff in here, it's going to run right away as soon as there's something to, to have, right? Well, that would fix it as well then, right? Alright, where's the catalyst is in there? There's our rails. Okay. I think we're gonna go with that. So as soon as we have some more more money here, we'll get our sulfur and we should work. So we, we are getting a silicon, which is really nice. Uh, let's go ahead and what do we get for lifesavers? Oh, two two. Oh, nice. So we got a minecart chest. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and go into chapter four. And we, let's actually move away from this. It's kind of loud. Everything's working and cutting and everything. So um, it's doesn't work 100%. I mean, it's it's kind of, I would say, dirty. Uh, but it, it works. It functions. Uh, the next thing is to get the printed silicon. So we do have, we do have to make a... Uh, a press here now okay so great great it's not consumed we do have some presses we do need to make one of these which we do have uh, i don't know what kind of press we have but we do need invar which i think we have already so i'm gonna run over here and get them now there's probably a better way of setting that up where it requires like so many items that go into there before it triggers it and blah 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 but i ain't gonna do that Okay, so we need some scrap, uh, some circuit scrap, which I don't think we have. Uh, let's let's go ahead and do that. All right, perfect. We have enough for the circuit scrap. Then we can take that and put it in the stone cutter. And then we can we need to get a logic press, no, a silicon press, right? Let's make sure we're doing the right thing. Inscriber silicon press. Perfect. Cool. Now I gotta go ahead and make a deployer. Do I have one? Probably not. Uh, let's see here. I need four of these. I have some nuggets in here. Why don't I go ahead and pull some of these out? 
I think if I... What's the best way of doing this again? I think it's to crush them. Why don't I grab the rest of these? Because I, I think we're running pretty low on ore. On... There goes my bucket of water. <laughs> Shoot. Well, I got some iron at back out of it, but <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> that really sucked. Um, all right, we need to make a f <laughs> finger here. Let's go ahead and smash those up. Now, this would actually be kind of nice if I could just throw this and it would go into our system. Uh, I, I have thought of it. And I have. I wish I would just go ahead and do it, but I don't. Uh, let's go like that. Request this. There we go. Um, and then I need an andesite machine, which we have a million of, I think. Well, not a million. 98. Oops. Grabbed the wrong one. All right. We can put the, the minecart chest away. And the next thing on our list will be... Uh, we'll put the silicon press with the deployer... And we just need to get this basically set up to run the silicon through. That's easy enough. And then what, what's after that? Before I run all the way over here. So once we have the silicon pressed, we just need to get this on the conveyor line then and have one in each one of these. So we're going to need some more uh, deployers. So we're going to need two more deployers. Hey, it went. So we got some more, and you can hear it going here. Yeah, there's 40. Ah, nice. And we got some more silicon regen I can throw in there. So we'll have a definitely a good start here. The next thing would be to... How are we going to move this to... Kind of over in this direction? Let's go ahead and expand our belt here. I don't think we really need to go that far with it, to be honest. Right? I mean, we're we're pretty much done here. Uh, I think this is going to be the last bit of construction that we're going to need for our our setup, which is kind of sad. I was kind of was really enjoying this. Uh, let's add on to this. And we'll grab ourselves a andesite funnel. Like so. So any items coming off of here, we won't hook that up yet. And what I was thinking... Probably be easiest to just... Yeah, we just need the silicon press to go on here. Um... I wonder, can we run uh, with the deployer or the depot? I'm sorry. Can we just take the depot and have it run right into there? I bet we could. With the pipes, I mean. So take the pipes and then the pipes would run right into it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have enough pipes to do what I want to do. I'm going to have to probably go make some more. Um, and so the pipes... we have a depot? We have a depot. I kind of want it somewhat near here. Now, we could just do it on conveyor line, and then have it go into a chest, and then from the chest it could go into something else. I might actually do that. We'll just... maybe we'll tag off of here as well. Oh, oh another one went. Hey, I love to hear that sound. That that means it's working. I'm going to have to go build some more gearboxes so that we can finish this up. Um, let me go ahead and get this set up. My thinking is that we're just going to take out of here onto a conveyor belt 
and then from the conveyor belt we're just going to run it through a run it through the press and then that's going to go into a chest and then from here we're going to have the two deployers here and that we're, actually we need three deployers right because we're going to need to have the flash drive yeah so we're gonna need three total spots. So one, two, three, and then it will finish off and call it good. So let me go ahead and set this up um, the rest of the way to get this into, man, it's getting loud, <laughs> into um, everything working. Uh, not everything working, almost working. Just kind of set everything up and then I'll bring you guys back in once that's there. Uh, don't forget to like, hit the like button again. Uh, just, just, just trying to remind you guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, guys, uh, game crashed. Um, uh, while I was trying to hook up all the pipes for some reason, it did not like me hooking things up for some, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's because it's going through the crushing wheel. I don't know. But we've got our assembly line hooked up. This is probably a little bit obnoxiously too large, but this will work for what we need. Now, what we're going to have to do is, where do we have our andesite tunnels? We're going to need a couple of these, one on here. This is going to have the printed silicon, I guess. And then these are going to go into these placer here. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, so they're going to come over here and then they're going to go up. Once the, the printed silicon, uh, silicon, they're going to go into here. And I don't have... Uh, the retrieval modules. Uh, I do have retrieval models, but I should probably get a round robin module to go in here. And then we also need to buy or, well, actually make and then purchase the the, the card. I guess, what do I need for that? Oh, we need a, oh, we need a lot more before we can actually make one of these because we need a printed logic circuit, which is molten gold into a inscriber. Actually, this should not be too difficult. Third one needs to be pressed. We can make one of these manually. Um, do we have, what was it again? Uh, a logic press? Subscriber logic press. And we have a bunch of gold because that's what I've been... Oh, crap. I forgot to shut this off. We had a bunch of gold in here. <laughs> Until I emptied it all out. Uh, so let's go throw a couple gold pieces in here. I don't think we need very much. Oh, we have some gold. Oh, we're out of... We're out of... We're out of lava. And why? Wait, what? Oh, wait, what? Are we out of lava in here? No. I don't know why that was not filling up. Who knows? Uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a bucket. Bucket of water is fine. Let's just not throw it in the, the grinder this time, right? <laughs> this really needs to get hooked up so that we don't have to worry about this anymore. Okay, we'll move this back over here. Hopefully this will start filling up again. Oh, it's disabled. How did I get disabled? I must have accidentally clicked it. Okay, gold right here. We'll throw that in there. Shazam. Probably make a couple of these. And now all I have to do is run that through. Wait, was that cobalt? I hope that wasn't cobalt. I bet that was cobalt and get. We not be we might not be able to do this episode because I don't know if I have any cobalt. Um, uh, 
Oh, hold on. This is a little bit more than I thought. So we need a printed silicon that needs to go into, then this, what we just created, needs to print onto there, and then it goes to stabilize, and then it needs to be pressed again. Hmm. Okay, let's get this rocking and rolling over here at least. We'll have this moving along here. And then we'll go ahead and lock this up. Let's go and grab one of these. Let's go ahead and sleep real quick. Okay. Now I just need to... I need to do a couple things. One of which... I don't have... Do I have a deployer that I can maybe use... I don't have just a deployer. I guess I'm going to have to make one fast. Uh, how many gold do I have? I only have two on me. I need a couple more. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, we definitely have this, so we can we have the press to press it down. I do I do have bleh, I do have enough gold, I believe. Yes. So I just got to convert that over to gold. That should be plenty. Let's go ahead and grab some uh, grab andesite here. Oh, I guess I'm going to have to type it in. Uh, deployer. Grab one of these. I don't know where I'm going to set this up at. You know, I guess I did have a deployer over there that I could use temporarily. Okay. I think... It'd be nice to have it, like, right in here somewhere, but that's not going to be... That's not going to be a thing. Let's replace this with our deployer. Okay, and then we'll replace this with a... Uh, a depot. Right, and then we can just place... How was this? Okay, so the circuit, the printed circuit goes to here, and then that goes down to there. Perfect. And then we have the G, uh, the, the destabilized redstone, which this is going to launch it, isn't it? Let me see if I can grab one of these. Oops. There we go. Let's let's do this. Perfect. And then we can throw this down. We can throw that down. Oh, wrong. Oh, we don't have... That's right, we don't have one for... <laughs> That's not destabilized redstone, by the way. I think we just need a copper machine for this. No. Um, how do we make one of these? I can't even remember what they're called. A spout? Um, this should be able to help me out. We need a, yeah, a spout. There it is. Oh, uh, I need a hopper. Do I have a hopper that we can utilize here? We got one. Can we make a few? I actually, I quite use them quite a bit, so. Always good to have one handy. Okay. Now we just need to get these hooked up, which I don't believe I have. Do I have my 
pipes. I do have pipes. I'm hoping I can hook them up over here in this line. Because it is getting pumped in. Oh, no. It's not going to... I'm going to have to create a pump. Shoot. I might as well keep those because we're going to need them. This is not going to be enough, I don't think. My hope here is that I can maybe set this up here. Oops, don't want to lose it. And then we can pipe it up to... onto here, and then we'll just catch it in here before it goes on, right? My hope, my dreams. That'll work. Why are you stopping underneath, though? Oh, boy. This isn't going to work because... Or no. It went on. <laughs> I don't think anything... Oh, is this screwing things up? Oh, it is. Nothing's coming out of there. Okay, this is temporary anyhow. This is temporary anyhow. Let's get that. That's going to get stuck over there. We can then turn this off. There we go. Then let's grab this, and then the only thing we need to do now is compress it. Oh, man, this was not something that I thought was going to be an issue. There we go. Now uh, we need cobalt, I hope. I don't have cobalt. How do you, how do you spell cobalt? C-O-B, not C-O. -L. No, we have no cobalt whatsoever. So, I am going to have to... I'm going to have to stop the episode here. And in the next episode, we will finish off the logic processor. I'm going to have to go and mine some. But we did... We got kind of far. We figured this out. The Let me come around here. Uh, we did figure this whole thing out. And I think... How many do we have? We have 16 in here. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to turn this on until I get the rest of this rolling. But everything will work eventually. And we'll hook these up. But we do need this one here before we do any. We can go really any further. So in the next, next episode, we'll finish that out. Which should uh, go ahead and get us into the completion of Chapter 4. Which is creating an ME controller. And then from there, we're going to have to... Looks like we're going to have to do some printed engineering circuits and get them completed. Uh, so we know how to do the logic one. Uh, the calculate it is going to be probably, yeah, similar things. So I think the best solution here is going to be get an ender tank, set the ender tank to pull from our destabilized redstone. Are we losing? No, okay. Uh, de de grab from our destabilized redstone. And then from there, we're going to have to probably um, go ahead and make our, per, uh, our uh, each one of these because I think we're going to have several. Uh, yeah, they're all destabilized. So this is going to use molten diamonds, which to make diamonds, we do have to have blaze blood. So I'm going to have to figure out some way of getting uh, a lot more blaze blood. We might have to go into the nether and set up a um, a smeltery to just capture them. I'm not sure exactly how that was going to work. I'm sure we could build one of these like this with one of those spawners in the center. And then we just have to make sure it has lava. And then we can ender tank the blaze blood out. Because if we do this and we take a look at the blaze blood... So we neither use the heads or we have the entities inside. And that will create 20 mil buckets and I th per heart. So I think that's going to be our best bet. But in the next episode, we are going to, we're just going to get these going. We're going to finish this off um, and get ready for, did we, oh, we can check that off. Um, 
chapter four will be complete soon. Soon. Um, we still need these. And then we'll have to go into the next one. Fluix machinery. Looks like we have to complete this before we can go any further. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit that like button or hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you're notified the next video goes out. And also, uh, don't forget to hit the like button again. We're trying to hit five episodes. And uh, thanks for all the comments. Don't forget down below to uh, say where you're from. Uh, just kind of curious. You don't have to say anything more than just the country. Uh, I'm just kind of curious if I'm, you know, going outside of the United States. I'm in from the United States. Um, actually in the the northwest so i'm just kind of curious where you guys are located so thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time bye now